Introduction to Punnett Squares What is a Punnett Square? A Punnett Square is a chart that shows all the possible combinations of alleles that can result from a genetic cross. This is an example Punnett Square on the right. What can a Punnett Square tell you? A Punnett Square can tell you two things. It can tell you the parent's genotype. There they are on the outside of the square. And it can also tell you the possible offspring genotypes. Those are the ones inside the blue square. So every time these two parents procreate, these are the possible genotypes of their offspring. That's what the Punnett Square tells us. Now it's important to note that the actual offspring will only have one of these genotypes, maybe this one. The four that you see in the middle of the Punnett Square, those are possibilities. And then the actual offspring will have one of those four possibilities. So let's do some Punnett Squares together. The first thing you're gonna do is draw a window pane that has a little room on the top and a little room on the left. You're gonna write the mother's alleles on the top of the box, one on top of this column and one on top of that column. So we're gonna be doing a Punnett square for eye color. The mother has brown eyes and she is big B, little b, heterozygous, hybrid for her brown eyes. We're gonna write the father's alleles on the left side. The father is gonna have blue eyes, so the father is gonna be little b, little b, homozygous, purebred recessive for his blue eyes. Next, we're gonna copy the mother's alleles into the boxes below each of her alleles. So that looks like this. We'll take a big B and a big B and drop them down. And then a little B and a little B and drop those down. Then we're gonna copy the father's alleles in the boxes next to each of his alleles. So we're gonna move that little B over into the first box and the second box, and same thing on the bottom. So that's our completed Punnett square. We have the mother's alleles on the top, father's alleles on the side, and the four possible combination of alleles or genotypes for our offspring. Let's try another one. This time, mother's genes are gonna be big A, little a, and father's genes are gonna be big A, big A. Mom's gonna be hybrid and dad is purebred dominant. So to start, we're gonna put mom's alleles on the top of the box, just like that, and dad's alleles on the side. Now we're gonna drop mom's alleles down into the column right below each allele and move dad's alleles across, just like that. Now it looks a little bit funny to have little a, big A, so we're gonna just switch those, both of them, just like that. And now we have a completed Punnett square. We have mom's alleles on the top, dad's alleles on the side, four possible genotypes for the offspring in the center of the square. Okay, last practice. For this one, we have little g, little g, and big G, big G. Mom is purebred recessive, dad is purebred dominant. Mom's alleles go on the top. Dad's alleles go on the side. We're gonna drop mom's alleles down in both columns. Move dad's alleles across in both rows. And then just so we have the convention of the uppercase letter coming first, we're gonna switch all these. All right, well thank you for watching this video and now you know how to do a Punnett square.